Hey everybody, welcome to this Thursday episode of Cafe Devo. It's June 27th, 2024, here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. Oh, man. Hey everybody, what? <clears throat> Hey everybody, welcome to this Thursday episode of Cafe Devo. It's June 27th, 2024, here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, your host. You all know my pal... Uh... Hey everybody, welcome to this Thursday episode of Cafe Devo for June... <laughs> On all sides, from the point of Saginaw and Washtenaw streets in beautiful downtown Durant, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a biblical devotion designed to fit seamlessly into your day and help you draw closer to Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to this Thursday episode of Cafe Devo. It's June 27th, 2024, here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. I do believe you all know my pal Bugsy. He's doing his thing, taking care of business here in the pastor study at First Congregational Church. Hey, I know we're a little late today, and I sure appreciate your patience. As many of you at First Congregational Church know, our family is dealing with uh, a little bit bit of a season right now and having to give my dad some extra care. We're going through that together and I appreciate your love and support and all your expressions and your prayers and thank you for your patience today. Once again today, we return to Dr. Charles Swindoll for our devotional thought. It's taken from his book, Good Morning, Lord, Can We Talk? The book is copyright 2018, Tyndale Momentum. Why are you trembling so? The old country preacher was right when he said, I may tremble on the rock, but the rock don't tremble under me. It is my solid foundation. It stands firm no matter what may occur. That delightful expression always turns my mind to Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. It was from the opening lines of this 46th Psalm that Martin Luther, the great reformer, was inspired to write in German originally, but translated into English, a high tower is the Lord our God. We sing these very words today from the pen of this one who went before us. A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. And why is such a foundation sure? Because it is God himself. Our foundation is the God of creation. The God who made us is the God who shelters us and secures us. He alone is our rock our stability. What has you trembling today? Perhaps you just received news of a dear friend's death. Maybe you're facing an intense financial crisis. You may find yourself in your mid-50s looking for a job because the firm for which you've worked all your life downsized and no longer needs you. Those are painful realities. And such times can cause even the most stable and secure of believers to tremble. But the question is, are you trembling alone or are you trembling on the rock? When was the last time you fell on your face before God, called on his name, and then waited on him for his provision? How recently have you sought wisdom and specific direction from the Lord by seeking him in his word? It's okay to tremble. Really, it is. But you need to do your trembling on the firm and faithful, immovable rock of faith in God and his power. He will never crack or crumble. Never. You can trust him. We are secure. 
no matter how insecure and chaotic our times may be. Father, we come to you this day and we thank you for it. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, for your stability. You are our rock, our salvation, our foundation. And we get scared, Lord. We tremble. We struggle when we're in the midst of crisis. But we stand on you. And you are sure and true and powerful. Thank you for that knowledge, Lord. May we rest in you today. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Thursday episode of Cafe Devo. If you heard that little Power Rangers jingle earlier, that's one of my kids reaching out through the text message. So I need to go see what's going on. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.